We'll start with the Miami Hurricanes. They have kept it all very much so to the vest in terms of what they've done behind closed doors with scrimmages, but we've gotten some intel from the people that cover that program for us here at On3. And to put a defining phrase to it, it's let's just try this whole thing again, right? Because last year didn't go how you expected it to if you're a Hurricane fan in year one under Mario Cristobal, Josh Gaddis, no longer the OC. Kevin Steele took the Alabama DC job. So now kind of reset things, and they are currently putting in Shannon Dawson's offense. Now, if you're a Miami Hurricane fan, here's the encouraging thing about this. They already, through a few practices, have 85 to 90% of his offense installed. Okay? Just telling you, as a player that's been through spring football, that's not common. You don't usually have that much installed through spring practice. So what this tells me is, if it's easy to teach and install – that should equate to easy to process on the field, which equates to potentially allowing your talent to just go make plays, right? Because last year they were, they were bad, right? Like, let's be real. They averaged 19 points a game. With Tyler Van Dyke being your quarterback, you would hope he's able to stay more healthy in 2023. But with him being your quarterback, you should score more than 20 points a game. And you expect that in Coral Gables. You should expect that in Coral Gables with TVD behind center. Now, the other encouraging thing, the offensive line. Got a whole new makeover. Okay, they got three guys they're excited about that sounds like they're going to vie for starting positions. You got Francis Malagoa, five-star kid. He's a true freshman, already enrolled, already on campus, getting first-team reps at right tackle. You got Matt Lee, going to fit in somewhere on the interior. He's a UCF transfer. Then you got Javian Cohen, transferring from Alabama. Sounds like he's going to start for you as well. So offensively, it just sounds like you're going to have a better jumping off point than you had a season ago. You averaged 112 yards a game rushing, 106 in the country. Tyler Van Dyke's getting sacked 8.5% of your snaps. It's tough to win football games with those kind of numbers, y'all. Right? I mean, we, we can all agree those aren't winning numbers. So quarterback play should be more comfortable in Shannon Dawson's offense, both from a scheme standpoint and from a time to throw and operate standpoint with how they have upgraded personnel-wise on the offensive line. We've talked about it here on this show a lot. What you can expect from this offense can be defined in two different categories. The first category, air raid concepts. Not an air raid offense, air raid concepts in the pass game. That's Shannon Dawson's background, coming from Houston and his other stops throughout his coaching career. The other category, power run schemes. That's why you went out and upgraded the offensive line. That's why you're playing a Francis Malago at right tackle. That's why you went out and got Matt Lee, JV and Cohen, to be able to be more physical in the trenches. Those of you that watched this show, we had Mario Cristobal on the program, I believe it was maybe a week ago now. Might have been actually on Tuesday. I forget, but you hear what I'm saying. Mario Cristobal joined the show, and he's like, we got to be better in the trenches. That's his background. He is an offensive lineman from Miami. That's what he takes pride in. You can't change where you're from. Geographically, yes, but I mean from a background and from what's bred into you from a football standpoint. He wants to be a physical football team. All the teams have been that way. That's what they're going to be at Miami. That's what they are currently in the process of doing. Now, defensively, it's tough to get too much intel on that side of the football, not because we're not hearing things about guys that are playing well. It's just, hey, it's, it's early. You're still sort of getting your feet under you. You're not having a ton of super physical practices just yet. That'll come a little bit later in the spring. But I will say this. When we talked to Coach Cristobal, before we started recording, he said, I was at Oregon. We went 4-8 and eight the first year I was there. But we had two brothers, Noah and Panay Sewell. One played O-line, one played linebacker. Kind of feels like I'm reliving that same scenario right now at Miami. And he was, of course, referring to Francis Malagoa, the right tackle we've been talking about, and then Francisco Malagoa, the linebacker transferred from Washington State. They're excited about what he's bringing to the table. They think he can make them a more physical presence on defense. Still far too early to tell, but they're excited about what he's doing right now. So for Miami, we're trying this whole thing again. New DC, new OC. Let's run it back, see if we can't have a better result in year two. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.